home prices not going up as fast as they used to. Coming up here on The Job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Existential Wealth Advisors. It is 9.33 here in the middle part of the country on Tuesday. It is November 29th, 2022. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Want to start off here in the U.S. where let's talk about housing prices. We had a recent study come out by S&P, that's Case Shiller, that's the number one housing index in the U.S. House prices 10% rise year over year in September compared to 12% rise year over year in August, right? Home prices are cooling off around the nation. Of course they are, right? Interest rates for 30 year conforming mortgages are like six and a half percent. Again, there's going to be a long lag time between interest rates going up, people saying, whoa, can't afford that much house. Prices need to stabilize. Maybe they come down a little bit, maybe they don't. And then we should see an acceleration once A, rates normalize next year and folks aren't saying, hey, how high can these go? And B, folks say, hey, listen, rates are higher for longer and guess what? We need to get out of an apartment. We've got kids. So again, I don't think this tightening in the housing market is generational in nature. I don't think house prices are going to be stagnant for 10 or 15 years, as some folks are calling for, right? You have an entire millennial generation. They need housing. Housing has not been built over the past 10 for 15 years. Now we're squeezing rates, but that only lasts for so long. Eventually, demographics take over and folks need housing. President Biden wants Congress to pass a bill to avoid a rail strike. December 9th is when a rail strike could happen. Couple of unions, look at this pay increase. Monthly average pay for a railroad engineer to 110 grand. They're making six figures driving trains by 2024, right? That's a 24% increase. Now, inflation has hurt everybody, but that is a cool job. Typically, cool jobs in the economy get paid less. You get to drive trains for a living. That is awesome. And generally, that means it doesn't pay that well, but in this case, it, it kind of does. Makes me want to go be a train engineer. Hey, making six figures driving a train. Who needs this financial advice stuff? Last but not least, before we get you off to a nice Tuesday, let's talk about India. Let's talk about Russia. Let's talk about the war a little bit. Russia has sent a list of about 500 items they need to India as part of getting around international sanctions. These are automotive parts, plane parts, train parts, heavy industrial machinery that is now breaking down in Russia. Now, on a go forward basis, this is very important because India has been the key absorber of excess Russian oil that used to go to Europe. India can leverage these needs to get even bigger discounts and stay below that price cap for Russian crude. On the whole, India is gaining massive amounts of geopolitical power due to this war. They are a big beneficiary. If you want some additional info, Throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I am out there. Till then, you, your family, hope you have a really good rest of your Tuesday. Go USA. I am out.